What's going on guys? Happy Saturday and welcome to sunny and breezy San Clemente, California. Today I'm recording my final review of the Carew 4. As you can see here, this thing is completely spent. This tire now has 3,700 miles on it. Pretty decent mileage out of a tire that performed exceedingly well. I'm gonna have the full detailed breakdown for you here in a bit, but uh, in this quick video, I wanna take you up, show you the close-ups of the tire, give you a little bit of a description, and then kind of walk you around the motorcycle and kind of what we're doing. Happy Saturday to all of you who are out there. Oh, you know what? Hmm, do you change this to the public? Oh, looks like you guys are in there. Sweet. All right, guys. Happy Saturday. Go back and watch the intro if you haven't seen it already. I'm going to take you off the uh, tripod here and give you a quick little walk around down here. So here's the Carew 4 with 3,700 miles on it. Some pretty good wear. It's strikingly interesting how this tire wore as compared to that Heidenau K60 uh, Ranger tire. Same exact type of side wear where it gets really flat in the center and then you have these kind of sharp edges in the center here and then on the sides. It makes for interesting cornering when it gets worn out this way. That there is the rear tire, 3,700 miles. Now we come up here to the front tire. We have a little bit of trailing edge wear, but this tire looks really phenomenal. You could probably do two or three <laughs> rear tires to every front tire. So pretty decent as far as the uh, mileage and the wear that this front tire has got on it. What's up guys, I see six of you in there. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know where you're from while you're watching. I imagine you're here for some tire action. We're taking a look at the crew for today. So last night, the uh, 1190 here was dropped off. I had a renter rent it, took it down to Baja for the last 15 days and he returned it like this. I sent him with chain lube when he left, but obviously uh, probably rode through some salt water and some nastiness. Didn't bother to lube the chain, pretty shitty. And the worst part is take a look at the dirt and filth at the bottom of the fork tubes. He didn't wipe the fork tubes down after riding in this cement type mud that's left over the bike. So he blew out not one fork seal, but both. About a week ago, he called me and said, the front brakes went out, they're not working, and uh, brake fluids everywhere. And uh, yeah, it was this leaking fork tube on one side. So I instructed him to clean the mud off the motorcycle. So, uh, and then uh, use a seal saver and to, uh, <laughs> use that to clean it up and stop the leak and it did on one side but he didn't clean the bike and now we have failures on both sides pretty shitty anyway this is the brand new rig gear adventure five liter crash bar bag that can be mounted anywhere that's a super cool piece and of course the uh saddlebags did their job keeping everything dry for this guy yep full review of the crew four or not crew four sorry yep crew four metzler crew four right here 3,700 miles, pretty decent tire. Full review coming, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to, oh, wondering about the Carew 4 front with the Rouse or Adventure rear. Dude, you're right. The experience with Motaz front tires, aside from that new Dual Venture tire, is not very fun. They get pretty wobbly on the freeway. And uh, yeah, you gotta back off and then let them settle out and then go back down again. I would 100% run this front tire with any of the Motaz tires, whether it be the Rally tire, the Adventure tire, or the um, GPS, any of them I'd run for sure. It's a good tire. Any other questions down there, guys? Yep. Anyway, full review of the Crew 4 coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Just wanted to give you a quick little gander as I'm out here on the mountaintop this morning. Please leave any comments down below with whatever questions you have about the crew for. Oh, awesome. Thanks. What's up, JG? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Dude, if you guys want to save 35% off any of the uh, Nelson Rig or Rig Gear luggage, 
uh, shoot me a message privately and I will share with you a 35% off coupon code. Those aren't given out, so uh, yeah. Talk to me and I'll get you taken care of. And of course, if you want any Motaz tires, I can handle that too. And uh, yeah, crew four, oh, where are you? How is the front bite off? Dude, the front bite off-road was phenomenal. Um, I've had it in super, super sloppy. I've had it in sandy conditions. Um, the fact that they put this lug right here on the side that keeps the tire or the media from slipping through is a huge improvement over the Crew 3. Um, this versus the Crew 3 off-road, markedly better difference for sure. This tire is definitely an improvement for sure. Any other questions, guys, about the Karoo 4? You can see that's our wear bar right there in the center. We're a long ways from it on the front tire. <laughs> Back tire, not so much, not so much. All right, if you guys don't have any further questions, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one. And then you guys should be able to stay tuned for the full detailed breakdown and review of this thing. I guess overall, it's a phenomenal tire. I guess if there's one thing I wish Carew or Metzler would do is lower the price point a bit. The price of this Carew 4 set was expensive. It was over $400. Um, it was about $25 more expensive than um, the other leading quote unquote expensive tires out there that tend to get six to 8,000 miles out of them. So uh, yeah, not quite as cost effective but it worked the crew four guys happy saturday from sunny san clemente california i appreciate all of you uh, later on today i will modify the description and put some links down there if you guys purchase anything on amazon click that link first and go over there we get a little cut of that that's kind of nice and then um yeah like i said Nelson Rigger, Rigger Adventure. I got you guys' back on that one too, so let me know what you want, and I will get you a coupon code specifically for your use. Oh, that was my hand. Sorry, guys. Thank you guys for your support. I appreciate every single one of you. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you ride. Tell me why you're here, and we will catch you on the flip side. Shh.